Hi, this is Randy Moore, VP of Exploration with Gold Springs Resource Corp with Jackie Kennecott. We're out on our Fitch target. We're on the Utah side of our Gold Springs claim block. Uh, this is the jumbo trend. It's five uh, kilometers of exposure where we see good gold mineralization. Right behind me here, we have the South Jumbo Resource Block. And then about a kilometer to the north, we have our Northern Jumbo Resource Block. The Fitch is a new target for us. We've just started working on it this year. Jackie's been out mapping and uh, sampling, and we've now gotten the, the sampling back with some positive results. So we're moving these forward as we move into the future for drilling. We really want to uh, drill out as much of the resource as we can within this jumbo trend. Uh, most of our ounces right now are located within this trend, and it's open to expansion, both resources, and we also have other targets, this being one of them. Okay, Jackie, what can you tell us about the Fitch target? Yeah, so this is our new Fitch target. We're 400 meters west of the South Jumbo resource. And the Fitch is a strong, um, it's a strong geophysical anomaly, both in the Z10 and we start to see a good CSA and T anomaly here. Um, unfortunately, the boundary before kind of ends before you can see the whole anomaly. So that will be something that we want to follow up with the next expiration. Um, the Fitch does share uh, some structures with the South Jumbo target. We have um, a large uh, north-south uh, strike slip fault uh, kind of at the range front of the Fitch target, but it seems that the the caldera margin is, is playing a part here too. We have block faulting towards the south, and we're standing here at the abandoned uh, mine shaft. It's been filled in, um, but this is one of the, we're towards the north on these uplifted blocks. So we get a good view of um, what we hope to find along the entire um, 1.5 kilometer strike length. It's mostly, um, they're following these banded um, calcite quartz veins, very strong uh, calcite and really nice uh, partial bladed silica textures. One of the things with these fault blocks you're talking about, um, you, you say they're down drop to the south and from when we were looking at the geochemistry, this area seems to be highlighted in terms of our gold values. So as you drop to the south, you're preserving more of the system. Here in the upthrown block, you've eroded far enough down so you can see the main part of the mineralized system. Am I understanding that right? Yeah, right. So, um, yeah, a lot of our gold hits come from this area here. It's just uh, probably a 200 meter strike length area in this block. And this kind of material, we're getting grades of one and a half grams per ton gold. Um, and some of the, the prospecting trenches uh, to the north of us here, we've gotten stuff as high as three grams per ton. But yeah, that's exactly the idea. As we go south, um, it's, it's just gonna be deeper, the mineralization. So the whole system will be preserved as we move south. At least that's, that's the hope. Yep. This is the fish.